Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. My name's Anna, for those of you who are new. I'm going to show some items. I was out and about. I'm feeling back to myself almost 100%, and I went out and did a, a lot of shopping. went to a couple of state sales and thrifting antique store. I was all over the place, and I had a lot of fun, found some good things. I'll show you what I do have here. I, um, this was St. John. I actually found a Tiffany & Co., which I've never found anything like that before. But let me show you what I have. I'm going to go through it as it is here um, and start showing you. There's a lot of good stuff. This is a 1930s, 40s. I have to check it up. This is the very oldest. This is called K24. Made in Japan. This is a very old one. I have some wearing, um, the bracelet has some wearing of the K24. They have newer making, newer make ones, not as um, desirable as the older ones. This one is unfortunately missing some of the K24 off of it. What's that mean? What that means is the top part is decorated with 24 karat gold. These are highly collectible for the collector of this type of jewelry. This one's a little faded, but fabulous anyways. I think it's very old and these matching earrings that... You can see some of the K24. I, I would lean towards 1930s on this. I have to look. <clears throat> but it's nice. It's a little K24. Made in Japan bracelet. And the earrings. Okay, there's that. I'm just going to go through it as I pick it up here. These are cool. And I think they're stone sterling on top. Those are scarabs. Let me see that little Paris earrings. Do I have an earring? I think her. Let me get one so I can, like, uh, whatever. You can see it in my hands. I'm sorry. You see scarabs, and I believe those both are stones. Paris, I think that is sterling. I will test everything. I'll be doing a preview video tomorrow of what I'm going to bring to my auction on Monday. I'm going to come on an auction and have a buy it now auction sale. This is a, um, Art Deco rhinestone bracelet. It's rhodium plating in the back. And the fold over clasp and rhinestones clustered, um, like pave style. It's all over. The entire bracelet's covered. It's pretty nice, I think. It's lovely. It's in good shape. I think it's missing two stones in the clasp. Not a real big deal, I don't think, though. This is, uh, J. Crew Crystals, I believe it's a crystals, but it's a bracelet. It's nice, I think. Let me see. Um, these are... I'm not sure if it's Swarovski. I believe these are Swarovski crystals in there. Maybe not. Can't really say it for certain. But I think it's an ankle bracelet. It's set in sterling. It's a little longer. You see, it's big. <clears throat> I think it might be a um, an ankle bracelet. It's got multiple colors. It's pretty. I thought it was. This is St. John's. There's the marking on the bottom. A nice little bumblebee. About an inch and a quarter this way. With rhinestones all over his rhinestone eyes and all through his back. Both segments, actually. Gold-plated. Little St. John's bumblebee. Adorable, I think. This I picked up. Um, these are... It has a clasp, like... I, I don't know what happened to it, but I still got it. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I think that's brass, but these are gemstone... Um, semi-precious gemstones on here all over it and then little charms so I still grabbed it um I guess I fear why not <laughs> it's pretty cute it's a bracelet charm bracelet it has multiple things on it and multiple different types of stones as you can see it's so, so late um I don't know exactly carnelian citrine perhaps I'd have to look at them closer but it's nice that looks a little awkward on there but still it's useful somebody could wear it like that or they could repurpose it um and put a clasp on it that measures it matches it a little better um <clears throat> i don't think this is sterling but i still grabbed it because i really like the style of it look at it um it is a torque and you can hang your pendant off there i like the shape of it look very nice i think I do not think it's sterling, like I said, though, but I don't think that matters. Look at the modernist art back there. I forget who the artist is. Gina knows. 
she looks at that she could tell me she told me when i showed them to her initially i really like it this is sterling and turquoise it's um i think it's like a five it's a little smaller i can't i don't know it's a five or so i don't know what size it is but it is turquoise and sterling silver and i thought it was cute it is pretty small This, I think this this is sterling, and I believe it's lead crystal. I will test to make sure. But yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Um, it's very pretty. I have to, I have to get it untangled so you can on this chain. Double it up. It's nice. It's a nice chunk there. It's really beautiful. In the modern nest art, I meant the pictures back there. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Um, this is cool. I'll I'll sh um I'll get to the Tiffany Co in a minute. It's in here. I'm just going in the order. This is um a cute stretch bracelet. Some type of cat, a leopard, I think. That's rhinestone eyes, and the rest is enameling, I think. I thought it was cool though. A copper torque, I think I'm pretty certain this is run wire. I, I have to look at it better with a bigger magnifying glass, but it's a nice one, isn't it? Look. I like the bent shape it's bent in. And there is a maker's mark under here. I am gonna have to really magnify it because I could not see it. My um eyes are really bad. Getting bad. <clears throat> this is signed Loco. I don't know who the maker is on that. I think Loco or Logo. I <laughs> I can't tell. Here, let me show it. Maybe somebody will know it. Um, it's like that. Looks. Let's see what it looks like. And it's um, it's rhinestones. It's open in the back, and there's foil. So I know it's not crystals. Um, it is rhinestones. Multiple colors. It's nice. I think it's nice. It's cool. They are glass rhinestones. This is a crown trafari right here. This is an old one. Um, 50s. Um, where's my magnifying glass? I got a cool hat too. I'll show that in a minute. It's really cool. I picked it up. It says copper 855-69 crown trafari. Or is it just trafari? I don't know. Whatever. But look. Um, I may have a pair of earrings in my box that match this well enough that I could pair it up. Look, it has that little key hanging off of it as well and a faux pearl there and a trafari mark crown trafari with the copyright is in the back it's a jayhawk faux pearls and a brushed like textured uh silver tone i do think i have a pair of earrings that match it pretty well I'll pull it out when i offer it i'll offer them together it's a nice necklace and i think it, it's like i don't know how short it is here's these pearls um Sterling findings, nice clasp on there, I think, and pearls twisted. Different colors. I have a pinkish and a um, nice white off-white. These are sterling as well. I like the details on it. It's a nice necklace. Um, let me use my burlap. I need to get a new one. This is unsightly. Um, I don't like the burlap ones that much, but it hold, it does the job. All right, so those are pearls. One set. Um else i don't know if this is sterling i have to test it but too it looks stones it doesn't fit me <laughs> i'm putting it on wrong whatever two stones i think that is sterling i'll test it. it's like a two you know two rings in one see it's what pinky and then the ring finger almost probably a five i can barely get a i can't get a five on any longer look at the hat there's a lot more jewelry cute um this I liked it. It goes like on the back of your head. You know, you clip it in there. I think it's nice. It's crushed velvet. It's lovely. Kind of looks like roses. I really like that, so I picked it up. Um, I got a lot more jewelry. This is multiple stone for um, memory bracelet. Um, Aventurine uh, amethyst and rose quartz. This is a lovely trafari as well. Um, I think it's crown trafari. Yeah, the 
with a copyright. This is probably 1980s. That's what it looks like. It's nice. It's a nice one. It's a Crown Trafari 1980s necklace. It's got a nice, it's nicely weighted. It feels quality. These are pearls, and I think that's glass and enameling on these, and I think it's all sterling that it's set in. I will check it, <clears throat> but there's that necklace. It's a long one. I can't recall. I don't think there's a clasp on it. Um, it's a nice necklace. It's long. It's probably about four foot. This is vintage. Needs cleaned up a little bit. I love the clasp on it. Look at that. And these need wiped up a little bit, but they are knotted in between. This is a nice um, AB blue necklace um, with a lovely clasp on the front of it. Pleated on the back. It needs a clean up. I'll wipe it off. I thought they were really nice. It's a nice glass necklace. Coro, these are Coro. <clears throat> okay, let me, I do have more. These are sterling earrings here. They're nice. They're not real heavy, but they're not real light. They're kind of small. They're like an inch, but I know some people wear them small like that. Those are sterling. Um, this is nice. I um, I have to test stone. Um, can you remember what that's called? But it's sterling. And I think that's nice. Um, this is multiple stones of coral, um, tiger eye, and amber, and I don't know what this is. Like, is there an amber that color? I know that's a crazy question. Um, does anybody know that? Like, it feels like amber. But it's, it's doubled up. I have it doubled up. That's what you have there. I have this, I think it's fantastic, toggle clasp, has some lamp work, some art glass beads. These are glass. I never pass. Oh, Givenchy. Lovely, I believe. Um, I don't know. I have to look us up to date and put dating on at 70s or 80s. Nice. Um, kind of shaped ovular. And those are glass. It's lovely. It's a, like a, t a, a bluish color. Givenchy um, bracelet. I also have, um, I'll be getting to Tiffany. It's hanging over there at the end. Um, Not the very end, but this is rose quartz. I have it doubled up. It's a long strand. It's nice. I always pick up the strands when I find them anywhere, you know, because people like the long strands to mix with their, uh, with their jewelry. That's nice. Um, oh, he's adorable. This is Emmons, and that is Thermoset. And look, he wags. He's a just adorable kitty cat. With rhinestone eyes, and that's blue colored um, thermoset acrylic. It's a dangler. Just adorable. I think I love it. I do like the cats as well. This is a lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm saying everything's lovely. It is all lovely, or I wouldn't have got it, right? Um, I like that. <clears throat> it's vintage. Look. I can't say this is vintage. It's mid-century, probably the 50s. Beautiful. Fully pronged. Lovely well-made necklace um, and some of this I need to test and so forth these are sterling little pair of sterling screw backs that's what we're gonna get there um <clears throat> these bracelets let me look the name up I thought these were nice so I grabbed them um the name is Irimish e-r-i-m-i-s-h they're pretty nice there's a jersey be cool I think overall I thought they were pretty nice glass that's glass and that's a jersey nice though I think there's two of them this one has a key this is they go together they would be sold together when they're sold um this is stainless steel I have to look up to count up and see who the maker is it's rather nice look you can take this apart and add the bracelet and make it an even longer necklace um easily you know to make it longer or you can have a bracelet those are crystals and it says it's stainless steel it's a very nice material uh, tech well-made uh necklace uh, despite that i have to look up and figure out who the maker is i mean stainless some people like the stainless steel jewelry um it's nice i like it there's that 
and there is a matching bracelet. And like I said, you can put them together and make a long necklace. I have vintage Emmons right here. Look, it's a linking. It's, it's a well-made necklace. Um, don't know a whole lot about Emmons. There's a Jayhawk. Let's hop close. So, um, it's nice. It is vintage and it looks brand new. I, I don't know exact dating on and I got to read on Emmons a little bit. I don't know much. Malachite, and I believe this is on stainless steel. The Demalicate looks rare upright, you know what I mean? It doesn't look fake. Um, you, it looks real. And I think this is all stainless, but I will test it. It could be sterling. Um, Malachite balls and sterling or sterling. So sterling or stale, I don't know which one. I will test it. But that is Malachite. Definitely not fake. Oh, here is the Tiffany & Co. Okay, I let me tell you about this. I bought this. I picked it up, and I didn't know who what it was, you know, but I was like, okay, those pearls look real good. There's the tag. Some of you might know what that even means. I didn't. I'm new to it. So I thought the pearls looked great, you know, very nice, very nice and real bit well sized up and fantastic. Um, so I open it up, and I see the Iridesce I R. I R, um, let me spell it. I R I D E S S E. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm, fairly, I'm new to this. This is sterling silver. It's marked on the back 925. Iridesce, Tiffany and Co. Iridesce Pearls. I looked it up and I was very excited to see that. Um, that's my very first Tiffany and Co. find. And the best find of the day, probably the best find of the month. I can say that because uh, I got the wedding cake beads. Uh, last month so the best find of the month i think and definitely best find of the day fantastic tiffany and co iridesce pearls iridesce brand pearls that's what they call them that's they have a pearl line i looked it up to confirm we'll take it up to the jeweler to show it again but it's 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 i am it's pretty certain it's real um i mean it looks like what i'd seen on the site um this is a lovely love oh it's missing a little stone i can repair that this is a nice, this is glass, Monet. Um, lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Looks like it should glow or something. Um, that's Monet. It's missing one little tiny stone. I'll replace it. That's a fabulous little Monet. Aquamarine colored glass. And I have another set of pearls, and I think I have golden opal. I'll show you that in a minute. I have to test it. Um, nice glass. I like the glass. I pick it up, even if it's not to, like vintage antique glass this is still fabulous spring ring i mean a lobster claw clasp black and i like it I actually have a heart necklace that would match this perfect and like pairing them up i might pair them up when i sell it <clears throat> because it has the same design at the same type of foil glass there um that's nice though nice stones this one's lovely too you know i I do like glass. I really like the old, old glass, too. I find very little myself. When I do, I sell some and I keep some. But, um, this looks like, it kind of looks like it could use a restringing. Um, but, nice glass. It's a dichroic type glass as well. There's that. 1960s, um, this is a nice one for, uh, metal Enamel over metal. I like that combo. Somebody likes black and white jewelry. Maybe it's Thelma. I can't remember. Somebody does. But anyways, um, the, I have the other one of these out in the car. So it's a pretty fabulous earring. I mean, I like this black glass. So it match up with one of those black, faceted black glass. Match up with one of those black glass necklaces, you know, perfectly. The other one's in the car in the basket. I couldn't carry everything. A tiny little vintage donkey. I don't know whose maker is. I will discover that. Okay, let me... I mean, I was going to hang something on her, but I don't need anything on her. Let's just move them. <laughs> a donkey with a rhinestone eye. Cute. I don't see donkeys a whole lot. Sterling silver um, earrings. I have to research them. This has, this is nice. Um, I don't see a name on it. It's vintage, though. Mid-century, most likely. Um, that. These are, this is a pearl. Here, I'll put this on here. Pearl set. Um, these coin pearls. And, um, 
it's set in sterling. It's double strand. And it'll look neater when it's set up better. But I have a matching pair of earrings with it that I will sew with it when I offer this. Um, it's nice. It's a nice set for somebody looking for some coin pearls. Uh, look. They go perfect with it. They came with it. I bought them at the estate, so. Um, these are coral. I have a fetish bird necklace that'll match these perfect. I'll probably pair them up together. I have to find it. It's a dainty one, but it's lovely. Coral and sterling, and I love her back pierced, but it matches the earring. The earrings match that necklace perfect. I just showed it last week. Um, uh, let me show you these opal earrings, and I have another pair that I, these are tiny, but I have, these are, I'm pretty certain these are gold. I'll test them. Um, there's a little opal in there, and it's a, so it's not a, it's not lab created, and these are vintage earrings, and it is not a doublet or triplet. Um, it is just an opal. <clears throat> I think they call that a, do they call this, look, let me see if I can get it to shine for you. I feel like my lighting's terrible. I should have moved this a while ago, but um, they're tiny, dainty, and I believe they're gold. I don't know what, uh, I have to test them and look closer. I don't know what carrot or anything, but those are little opals, dainty. I like them. I really, I would wear these. This is, I like the size. I like small earrings. <clears throat> All right, let me just show more. These are glass. I have to look at these. Oh, maybe they're not. These look like, look faceted um i think that's that is glass it's not stone i mean like gemstone but they're nice these are um clip bearings about two inches um i don't know <laughs> if these are gem you know how they do those like little glass rings that are gemstones or jadeite i'm not sure if these are or not i'll test them i think they might be but they're cool um these two are blue both blue but one's darker they might just be glass. Oops, sorry about that. Either way, they're still nice. Fin nice bow. I have a couple ladies that like bows. That's a simple bow, but it's nice. Like, not to keep it. Okay, a little sword. Not a, not the kind that I want. One that it pulls out of. I haven't found one yet. I try to find them. I mean, I could go online and get one, but that's cool, isn't it? It's a sword. I didn't see a maker's mark on in there. Anything? I'll look later. Um, these are little, I have the necklace. This is cool too. I found things that match like marriage. I call it right. I have a mother of pearl and, um, first quartz necklace that would match these like perfect almost. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me showing it last week, but these are mother of pearl and I, that's a pearly something moonstones. I don't know what that is in the center cat's eye or something, but they're nice. They're glad. Um, no, they're not glass They're mother of pearl. There is, this around here is probably glass, and I think that is. But they match that necklace well enough that I could, um, I found a titanic stone. No, I'm joking. Look, this is pretty. It's silver tone. It's not sterling, but it's nice. It's a stone. These are copper. And like in an acrylic with coppering in them, they're nicer screw backs. They're nice earrings. They are copper. Um, thermoset. I have to clean these up. They look like I have a little imperfection on the front. I'm not real happy about that. See that? I don't like selling stuff like that. But these are thermoset um, earrings. Mother of pearl and copper again. Or mother of pearl glass and copper findings could use a wipe up um these are lovely i'm hope i gotta test these too i don't think they're gold but i i just like them a lot look at them they could be um i like this type of thing look how they're set i gotta test this and see if it's anything yeah you never know you can't always tell um let me put the opal earrings i'll test those first um these are pretty though they look like gold filled to me I, I'm not sure. Nice little earrings. I like them. And these are some stone um, and sterling. 
think it's stone. Maybe it's glass. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is glass. I'll test it. These are made in Turkey. These are sterling silver. Just a simple post lever back. But when I see Turkey, I, I don't pass it up like jewelry made in Turkey. They are sterling and they are Paris post like with a backing that you know, to hold them on that goes back there. They're not real big. They're about three half and three quarters of an inch. And they're not extremely heavy, so they're a wearable earring. These are dainty. I don't think these could possibly be gold filled, but I don't know. I'll test them. I just picked them up because I think it's a beautiful, lovely, and I have a nice little brooch and a bracelet, I think, that would match this. Maybe even a necklace. Pair them all together. <clears throat> Pearls and... Not quite as nice as Tiffany and Co. Iridessa. Irida, Irides. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Oh, let me show you this too. I've been using, that's it. Well, no, there's one more necklace. Let me show the necklace and then I'll go onward. Um, this is nice. This is I non-sterling findings, but abalone, a mother of pearl, and black glass. And that is a nice little abalone, I mean, ball there. And there's one there. Nice necklace, I think. Look, it's bigger. I thought that was nice. Let me, I'm going to put the, um, I have little velvety bags that I bought from Misty over at Misty's treasure chest. I bought them in bulk. And I will put the little, well, the Tiffany Co. pearls in that. Oh, here, 18 karat gold filled Vandal, vintage Vandal in the original box. And then when you go and it says Vandal there, 18 karat gold filled. These are birthstones and there's a note in here of somebody telling like which stone which family member it is you know for and then on the inside they also stuck this for the person and there's a number I guess that's a strike number um but it's on the outside I didn't take that out I'm sure it says gold filled in the back Vandell usually does I think um but this is from Kaufman's I mean this is not the original sheet but it's shown births uh stones for each month and that that was a trafari one from Kaufman's used to sell trafari obviously but I thought that was nice it comes in the original box and it's 18 karat gold filled which I don't see often I also I've won a couple more things I forgot. this is Worthington with Austrian crystals in this lovely little ladybug I, I leave it in the original box as well why not it's Worthington I don't know anything about Worthington. I will look it up. I'm gonna knock the little opals on the floor. Um, this is, uh, I, I, I think this is a Liz Claiborne Incorporated. Still a nice necklace, look very long. I forgot I had jewelry beside me. I got a couple lovely bath products too. I'm gonna show I'm excited about face cream and wash. But nice chain on that, you know. Looks like a, um, like one of the, almost, you know what I thought this was when I grabbed it? Uh, is, is Givenchy. I don't know if it's going to be Givenchy, but I'm pretty certain it's Liz Claiborne. I think that's what I saw on it. Definitely not that. It needs cleaned up a little bit, but it's nice. It's the ball moves, and it needs wiped up a little bit, but it's nice. I got to picked up. I like crossbody purses now. I've never really used one before, but I bought one on off of somebody. Nice, but So I picked up a nice dark red um, leather fossil purse crossbody for me to use because I've been liking them and then these are lovely soothing bath beads Shalimar Guerlain Paris and there's some right up on but they're new they've never been used that's why I bought them and this Clinique <laughs> brand new makeup can always use makeup right I don't wear much of it and Shiseido I don't really know how to pronounce it but my I think my niece worked for this company when she worked at Macy's and she was a manager to uh, perfume makeup counters, different makeup counters. But So I picked that up. This is a, um, it goes on before, it's SPF 15 goes on before your makeup. I'm sure you guys really care, right? Um, I got a really cute tea set I'm going to show here. This too, lotion, very good quality. Got it really cheap decent price for it the lady let that go pretty decently priced and it's an exfoliator i think it's for your face i don't know i have to make sure clearance pairs oh <laughs> talking about clearance an eyebrow thing it looks like it was never it was never used like tweezers and a brush and like the draw on your eyebrow color which most people do a little and look at that look how cute 
little knife and fork and a little on a little plate so adorable it says imperial 1978 so it's 88 98 2008 2000 it's nearly row vintage i call it vintage it's vintage late 70s cute though don't you think i liked it i thought it was adorable and these were separate i picked them up i got that at the estate so one more item that oh my god it's not the piece of jewelry on the floor um i'll find it all right so that's all thank you for watching i am gonna do a preview video and put it up tomorrow morning for what i'm gonna bring to my sit buy it now sale slash auction on monday i will be here i will be here i'm gonna come on a little bit later at 9 p.m eastern time since it's the holiday and we'll be out swimming and so forth but um i hope to see you then i hope come back and watch my preview video and um Tell me what your favorite thing was if you get this far. Um, I like it all. Very excited about the, the number of items that I got. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.